Today's video is um, how to change the motor in your Nano. The vast majority of people won't need to do this, but I know a few people have had uh, motor problems and replacements are being shipped out at the moment, so they might be arriving at some point soon. I've been made aware that people are a little bit uh, concerned about changing it themselves, so uh, it's a very, very simple procedure. I'll show you exactly what you have to do. What you'll need is a fairly small Phillips screwdriver to undo these two little screws here and a teeny 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 flathead screwdriver to undo those two and that's it I will start with these two little ones here as I don't want to take the motor out and have it hanging just by these wires so also strongly recommend a little bowl to put the screws in these two here um, will not need to come all the way out you just undo the terminals until they're loose but these screws on the front you will be completely removing, so uh, a little bowl to put them in is always useful. Right, remember in advance, if you don't already know, it's black on the left, the negative, and red on the right, positive. So when you put your new motor back in, that's the way around you want to do them. Okay, just pull those two out. That's the motor disconnected from the circuit board. I'll pop the drive band off and pull the pulley off and there you go and put that in there as well right now to find my little screwdriver And just simply undo these little screws. It looks like they've got teeny tiny washers on, so you don't want to lose those either. Uh, put the whole lot. Oop, my screwdriver is magnetic. Put the whole lot in there. Doing this bit on the table because I don't really want the motor to fall out. And there you go, that is motor removed, nice and simple, just four little screws. So I will uh, now put it back in. If I want the red to be on that side, I will want to put it in that way around. Line up these two little holes on the front. I'm not sure if I can do this at arm's length uh, so you can see on camera, but I'll give it a go. This is a little bit fiddly. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to bring it over to my lap to get these started. Okay, I've got the first one in. A general bit of advice when you're screwing anything that needs uh, multiple screws is to just put them in very loosely to start off with rather than putting one in and getting it super tight because uh, if you do that you may find that you can't actually get subsequent screws in. So here we go, I've got it nice and centred, it's just not that tight so I will do it up. Okay, it doesn't need to be super tight, just uh, so the motor's not moving around anymore. I will pop my pulley back on. I did have a bit of PTFE tape on there, which I appear to have lost, so uh, if I find my motor slips, I'll put that back on. But it actually seems a very tight fit, so I should be alright. Then on the inside... 
I'll simply slide these wires into the terminals. So black goes into negative, red goes into the positive. I have a feeling the world wouldn't end if you put them in backwards. I think you would just find the motor would run backwards, so your S and Z twist would be the wrong way around. But I don't want to test that theory, so uh, make sure you put them in the right way around. And again, you don't need to do these super tight, you just uh, want to make sure that the uh, wires aren't going to accidentally get pulled out and that you have a fairly decent connection. So there you go, motor in nano replaced in about five minutes.